Well, it is War Eagle Week here at WLTZ, and what there is no better way to cap it off than talking to Coach Pat Dye. It is an honor, sir. Well, thank you. Coach, Auburn plays Oregon this Saturday, and you have a special tailgate event. Well, it's, I, I don't know if you would call it a tailgate event or just a watching and listening party, but uh, uh, I got a pavilion that's 10,000 square feet, and we got big flat screen TV set up in there, and I'm going to have a couple of former players here to to help narrate the game with me. Oh, we'll we'll be analysts. And uh we'll we won't disturb the game of course, but we'll uh just have a good time. That sounds like a great time. We've been celebrating Auburn University all week long, not just football but all of its aspects this week. And can you just tell me a little bit about how much you've seen Auburn change over your time involved with the with the university? You know, I don't, uh, I mean, the appearance has changed. The campus is, it's a beautiful campus. And I think all you need to say about Auburn really is that uh, in a recent poll done by Princeton University, Auburn was picked as our student body is the happiest student body in America. That says it all. Sir, and your time at Auburn was a great time to be at Auburn. And you had a lot of success there. Can you tell me a little about just about what you remember about your days as a football coach at Auburn? Well, you know, I remember starting in 1981. We had a losing season. We won five and lost six. And then we started winning. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun to watch it grow and mature to what it was. I mean, you know, we had a phenomenal year last year with our baseball team going to the you know, College World Series. And I've basketball team going to the Final Four, and uh, I mean, it was uh, won the national championship in the equestrian team, I think, for the sixth time. We've got great coaches in the, all the sports, not just not just football and basketball, and, you know, baseball, the ones that you think about. Your time at Auburn was memorialized with your name on the field a few years back in 2005. What are, what are the emotions you have when you see your name hanging up in Jordan-Hare? It's been that while now, uh, and of course it was a tremendous honor. Trustees called me in and said, Coach, we want to put your name on something. Uh, do you want a building or do you want a, uh, we could name the field after you. And I told him, I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's a no-brainer. Give me the dirt. Well, Coach, there's, there's no doubting your love for Auburn and Auburn's love for you. What does it mean to you that so many fans cherish the days that you were head coach? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with winning. <laughs> yes, and uh, we competed at the highest level. Of course, we still do. You know, I, the way I look at Auburn, whether you're a student, whether you're in vet school or engineering or building science, or liberal arts, whatever it may be, a football coach or any coach at Auburn, golf, tennis, uh, I think it gives you a chance to compete at the highest level and be as good as you want to be. Well, Coach, you mentioned being as good as you can be. What advice would you give to an Auburn student or athlete in being the best person they can be? Well, you know, I tell all, uh, we have a lot of interns that work out here off and on during the year, and I tell all of them, I said, I said you're getting a good education. But if you leave Auburn without having become an, uh, an Auburn man or woman you're going to be you're going to miss the most important thing about Auburn well coach it's been an honor talking to you and thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it okay good to be with you War Eagle yes sir